Let's take a look at how this simple cam vice lock works. Let's start by opening a metric assembly file and going to our parts library and under class files going to the cam vice lock folder. We'll double click on that. And I'll start by bringing in the ground plate. So I'll drag that into the window. And that's automatically grounded because it's the first part. And I'll go back and bring in the lever cam. And I'll go get the center of that cylinder with this cylinder. And then I'd like to make this face. And I'll leave a little distance there of one millimeter tab. And you can see there's one millimeter between that. I'll go back to my parts library, bring in the pin, cylinders together, and I'll get this inside face and made it to that face. Back to my parts library, and I'll bring in the bar, and I'll just drag it down somewhere here. And I'll leave the bar right there, even though it doesn't fit right and it's just at an odd angle. That's a good place for it to basically start. Now I'm going to go to Drag Component, drag my lever back around this center and just push it back over here. So if I have a larger piece of metal, this is the place that I'd probably start, about there. Then I'd like to add a motor, rotational motor. This is what I'm spinning. I'd like to spin it around this axis right here. So I have to hesitate because it tries to pick up the center, but I want this axis. It's off center and that's what creates a cam. And I'd like it to go the other way. And I'll slow this down to say 50. And hit finish. Then I'll go to my simulate motor. And this time I want to change this from no analysis to physical motion. Not only will it detect collisions, it'll see the physical motion like in the real world. So I'll select physical motion, click OK, and hit run. And it pushes down the bar and locks it into place. And if I didn't want this timeline to be so long, I'll show you how we can make that a little shorter. Because it's just going, this has already stopped. So I'm going to go back to select, and I can save that. I'll go back here to Motors, Rotational Motor, right mouse click, Edit Definition, and I'm going to put a limit on this. Now when I go back to the motor and run this again, you'll see the timeline is much shorter.